first in a series of short how-to videos on the new next one agent or you might call it repri so this one i'm going to show you how to log into it and a couple of housekeeping items that you may want to do before you start using the system so i suggest you open up your google browser this software works much better on google than it does on internet explorer or um, safari you're going to go in and you're going to type in in the browser line repri.com it's going to open up the next one um, new next one agent uh, information page you're going to go up here to the right hand corner and click on log in the login page will come up you don't have to worry about hitting a RIA or anything like that. You're going to put in as your username, your email address, and instead of using the at sign or the um, dot, you're going to use dashes. So it would be your email address, mine's lmarks dash sutton dash com. And that actually differentiates which system you're going into of next one. You would use your email address as an email address if you wanted to go into the old next one to take a look at any of your documents that you have in there. So we're going to log in, username, lmarks-sutton-com, password. If you don't remember your password, no problem. Go down to forgot my password. It's going to take you through some steps and allow you to reset a new password. Then go to log on. Once you've logged on to the system, you're going to see a home page. One thing I want you to uh, understand about this software is um, first and foremost, the reason we went to this new platform was not something that was driven from the brokerage. It was something that was driven through Korea. Korea had decided they were no longer going to support the web forms and uh, clauses platform. And they reached out to some software, real estate software companies and asked them if they'd like to support it on their um, uh, software. So play, people like Lone Wolf, um, Next One, uh, some other software out there, Paperless Agent, they were all approached and decided that yes, this would be a great thing to add to their systems. So Treb is aligned with Lone Wolf um, and they, Lone Wolf is taking care of the web forms through the Treb system. Lone Wolf took web forms and created or worked it around so it worked with their back, background systems. And that's why when you go into web forms now, it looks so different because it's been modified to work with the other programs that uh, web forms or sorry, Lone Wolf uses. When you go into Next One Agent, and into the forms it looks a little more similar to what we used to use and uh, when we noticed that we thought it was a really good idea to maybe make the switch even though it was going to be a stressful situation on our staff and our agents we thought it might be a good thing to do to switch to this new version of next one because it had the forms Having said that, once we started exploring it, we realized what a great tool it was for you, the agents. It's, it has a, a lot of different things you can use. If you don't use a CRM, this could be your contact management system. Um, this is more an agent-centric software as opposed to the old next one was basically a broker centric software so this has two components it has the agent front end which you guys will be using and it allows everything to flow through nicely to the broker back end of this software so having said that i'm going to show you a couple of housekeeping things that you may want to do before you start using the new next one agent first of all you're going to want to go into the where your name is there's a little arrow you want to click on that for the drop down menu um, 
if you like to use um, DocuSign as opposed to the e-signature program that's in next one, no problem. I'm going to show you how you can connect that to your platform of new next one agent. You're going to go under your name and you're going to click on account and under accounts, you're going to go to integration. Under integration, you're going to turn off, uh, if it's not already turned off, you're ratified by Repre, and then you're going to click on DocuSign integration, and that's going to ask you to link this, pro this software or program, this platform, to your DocuSign account. So when you go to do e-signatures, once you've assigned or linked to your DocuSign account, <clears throat> sorry, your um, ratifying or your e-signature will be done through DocuSign. So that's quite a uh, interesting thing if you'd like to do it. You can also um, drop a picture in here. So if you had your business picture, you could actually drop it in there and it would be on your platform as well. You could add an address book in here. If you had a uh, CSV file, you could put it in here. You can also create an email signature. So if you wanted to put your contact information in there, maybe your logo, maybe a picture of yourself, you can add that in here. And every email that goes out through this system will have your email signature in it. So that's your basic housekeeping. Also under your name, you're going to see uh, the word support. If you click on that, there is a whole variety of videos or FAQs on every aspect of this software, stuff that I haven't even been able to explore at this point. They've got everything from getting started, the general information, how to use e-signature, how to deal with your um, documents and forms, the things you can do with your con client managers, the things you can do to manage your clients, I apologize, how to use the calendar, how to set up activities, how to deal with your transactions, teams and sharing, and it goes on and on and on. So there's all kinds of uh, learning um, topics in there. I will be exploring them myself and sharing with you some that are are exciting that you might be interested in. Last but not least, if you need to talk to somebody, you're having problems with it, always feel free to give me a call. I'm very happy to help you with any of your questions or concerns and very, very happy to help you walk through some of this um, because it's new, it's different. And even if you've been to training, the next time you open it up, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, what, what, how do I do this again? I understand that, so please give me a shout and I can walk you through it. You can also give your one of your managers a call. All of our managers know how to use the system and they can walk you through it as well. If you needed to contact Next One, maybe a, a specific question about the software, you can click on the next the Contact Us button on the side here, I just clicked on it, and you can quickly type in a little question into their chat room and they will gladly talk you through that so there's that contact us and there's also a question um, one where you can actually um, go for help uh, through the question mark anyways that's all i'm going to show you today it's just a quick overview um, on the housekeeping and how to actually access uh, the new next one we'll talk to you later bye now